In this video, I will be attempting to buy one burger from every single In-N-Out burger location in only 20 days. Basically, this trip has a total of 8,642 miles. That's further than driving the entire circumference of the moon. First, we need to start by flying to Oregon and hitting our first In-N-Out on this entire trip. Here's our first In-N-Out line. This is gonna be a long trip, bro, if every line's like this. And after waiting in line for over 30 minutes, it was time to order our first In-N-Out burger. Number one of many. Only like 400 left to go. Something like that. <laughs> in total, there is 363 In-N-Out burger locations in the entire world, spread across seven states. And to make things even more interesting, it's time for our first challenge. And if you don't eat at all 363 locations by the end of the 20 days, you have to shave your head bald. Oh. I really do not want to have to shave my head at the end of this video. We have to get this done quick. So the next closest In-N-Out burger is three hours and 15 minutes away, and we're stuck in traffic. <laughs> we should be hungry by then. Four hours for the next In-N-Out. The drive got super intense. Once the sun went down, it started raining like crazy. There is no visibility oh at all right now. I see it, boys. Number two, I've just been driving for like four hours straight. I'm losing my mind. I've never been so excited to see a fast food place in my life. Is this a mirage? And after driving four hours in extreme weather conditions, we could finally order our second burger. We just drove like five hours to come here. Really? Yeah, we're going to every In-N-Out burger in America. This is the moment where the employees figured out I was crazy. Oh my God. Thank you. I feel like I have it blinked in about four hours since I started driving. It's day two and we have drove thousands of miles and only hit two locations so far. All right, boys, let's go to the next location. Let me get a screen, Dave. You don't sound excited. Yoo-hoo. Come on, give me some. Yeehaw. Some good energy. Get her down. You know where we are? No, it's a secret. <laughs> <laughs> in and out. Woo! We just completed Oregon. Luckily, there's only three locations in Oregon. And now it's time for California. And there's a lot. No, like way more. There is 254 locations in California alone. And this is the first one in the Golden State. They call this the Golden State, right? Yeah. Okay, let's go get a burger. Double, double, large coke. Yep. It's time for our next challenge. Every time you guys complete all of the locations in one state, somebody has to get pies. Uh, <laughs> that's so many pies. We have seven states. Hayden's first. <laughs> oh. Oh. Bro, are you okay? Oh, I'm chilling. <laughs> Over the next few days, we started hitting a bunch of locations, but then I got this horrible phone call. Hello? Yo, bro, it's impossible. Which part? You're trying to do it in 20 days? We are going to do it in 20 days, or I have to shave my head, bro. You need at least a month. I mean, dude, you're traveling to all these different states, trying to work these routes to make it better. I'm trying, man. Come on, please. Really we good. need you. Bro, all I'm hearing right now is that you're not trying your hardest yet. It's going to be impossible to complete this challenge, and we only have 18 days left, or I have to shave my head bald. Once we got to California, we started hitting the locations way faster. I'm gonna do parkour. in and out burger number 22. Mm. We're at in and out burger number 25, and this one has yellow windows. We've been to so many in and out burgers that seeing something different is super cool. Everyone has been working super hard, and we are exhausted. So I want to reward my friends with some money. I have three burgers and the world's spiciest chip. Whoever gets the burger with the chip wins $100, and they have to eat the spicy chip. So I have the world's spiciest chip right here, and three In-N-Out burgers. There will be a chip in one random burger. Whoever gets no. the burger gets $100. No. <laughs> Bro, I can't do spice. I cannot do spicy food. I'm ready. Oh. Go for it. Little did they know, I put a chip in every single burger. Oh no. What do you mean? Oh no. I got it for sure. I can't even feel it. Did you get it? It's so hot. I definitely got it. Oh, I got it. <laughs> so I forgot to tell you guys that I put a chip in every single burger. Close. I love my on fire right now. Ah, my fucking dog is on fire. Oh my. This is easily the hottest thing I've ever put in my mouth. Oh. Thank you. Was it worth it? Huh? I don't know. <laughs> my mouth. Hurt. Dude, f you. This is not worth a hundred dollars. You can have another chip or the hundred dollars. Take the hundred. You boys ready? You will arrive in two hours. Fuck no! I need milk now. Now. We gotta go to more in and out. No, we're not going to anywhere else until I get milk. Really, I need milk now. Like. Okay. Let me get one for you. Okay. All right. Cool. And this is when we found out In and Out sells milk. Bro, I can't believe that In and Out Burger has milk. I didn't even know that. Did you? Uh, he's yeah. So he's, cool. He's struggling. Whatever. I think it's cool. It's day four and we've already driven thousands of miles. It's really starting to get to us. You guys are watching this video in under 20 minutes, but for us, it's a grind every single day for 17 hours. I wish I could explain to you guys how hard this challenge actually is. Trust Matthew, it's very hard, you guys. We're in San Francisco! Oh, she was! 
So we just hiked all the way to the top of the Golden Gate Bridge and Uncle Dave's mad because there's no Starbucks. Ooh. There's no Starbucks up here. I want some coffee. The Golden Gate Bridge. And he wants a coffee. He doesn't even care. He already walked back. So just for that, we're getting him another In-N-Out burger. Can I get a double double? You know how earlier you said you wanted a coffee? I do want a coffee. Well, buddy, I went ahead and got you something. Oh yeah, is it a coffee? Another in and out burger. Bruh. I'm kind of getting tired of these hamburgers. Well, Uncle Dave, lucky for you, the next one is only 20 minutes away. Then I can get a coffee. Probably another burger. All right. So we're at the Fisherman's Wharf in San Francisco and I got a giant crab bread. Oh, it's hard. I just <laughs> almost broke my teeth. It's not in and out burger, but it's pretty cool. Dude, it's actually. Like, so hard. Solid. Yeah, it's the second hardest. I'm just kidding. <laughs> they had my mouth. <laughs> it's time to free the crab back into the ocean. Imagine. <laughs> I'm not doing that. I think it was like 40 bucks. I'm not throwing it in. All right, guys. So listen, we have to get out of Northern California. Some of the locations are hours spread apart. Once we get to Los Angeles, the locations are going to be so much closer together. Okay, yeah, they're going to be closer together, but are you forgetting the fact that there's like 20 times the amount of traffic that we're like ever used to? We're going to be in LA, bro. It's kind of a lot of traffic. That's true, but we're not going to hit traffic. Really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I know it. There seems to be a crash ahead causing a 20 minute delay. Would you like a faster route? I would love a faster <laughs> route. But I think you're full of The traffic slowed us down like crazy and we only have 15 days left to complete this challenge. <sighs> this was a horrible idea. Fucking straight it was. Straight fucking it. Yeah, it totally sucks. <laughs> totally. What are we talking about? The trip. The trip sucks? Yeah. Really? I love burgers. And just when we thought things couldn't get worse, it's time for our next challenge. Matthew, I'm gonna need you to stay at a one-star hotel tonight. <laughs> Alright boys, so it's day like 58 and we just checked into the world's most shady hotel. Get that bed. Those stains come free with the room. And they also got the red stain too. This is your bed. <laughs> Sleep good, brother. <laughs> I'm sleeping in the bathtub. This bathroom is 99 proof. It's a half bottle of f***ing <laughs> booze. <laughs> they left us some booze. There's literally dead bolts on the door instead of no more. Luckily, things started to turn around. Little oh, boys, come here. All right, I have really good news. Every In-N-Out burger so far has been like 45 minutes away, but the next four of them are 10 minutes away. In-N-Out burger, one million and seven. Hi. Got a burger? Oh my God. Is this your first one? First one today. Day seven, so far we have been to 95 locations. And I've ordered 63,650 calories worth of burgers and we are losing our minds. We're getting a little bored from the drive. I got a banger for what we're gonna start listening to. It's a 17 hour long video. Logan Paul. 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 What makes this challenge so difficult is that the locations are so spread out and random. Basically, we go up and down the same street like ten times, creating a giant circle in the city, and we're starting to feel like a pinball machine. In and out burger number one hundred and twenty-six. Coolest one by far. It's right next to the LAX airport. In and out burger, San Diego, here we come. Thank you. Thank you. In and out burger number 200. Woo! Thank you so much. Have a, Have a great day. Off to the next In and out burger. Yeah, boy. Thank you so much. And um, I was going to say, if this helps my chances at all, we're going to every In and out in America. So. <laughs> you do. After 12 long days, we have finally completed California and only have five states left. Matt thinks I forgot about the cream pie. Hey, Matt. Yeah. <laughs> That's for Cali, baby. Now it's time to fly to the next state to continue the journey. Five states left and 100 locations to go. Oh, yeah. In eight days, Matt, you get to shave your head. No way. We're going to do this. There is no way I'm shaving my head. Matt's going to be baller me. He's going to ship his hair to the Bieber. Excuse me, what state are we in? Utah? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, Utah, baby. Get her done. So the next closest in and out burger is in St. George. Let's go see how far away that one is. St. George is just under four hours. And that is our next in and out burger. Great. But I got your root beer flow. Thank you. After two days of driving thousands of miles and hitting an additional 10 in and out locations and a pie to the face, Utah is completed. And now it's time for Nevada. And in case you think this isn't real, let me show you this. 4705-1960-6530-3882. Yes. I'm I'm actually doing this for some reason. We are on the Las Vegas Strip, and that is the last In-N-Out Burger in Nevada. So we just completed Nevada, and I have a surprise for you, Brian. Is it another In-N-Out Burger? No. Oh. How much do you think I should do? I think. 
<laughs> Nevada's completed. And now we gotta get on a plane and head to Texas. And now burger in Texas. We're in Texas, baby. Since we're in Texas and they say everything's bigger in Texas, I got the world's largest flying Dutchman right here. Let's go show Uncle Dave. Holy mackerel. All for me. We made it to the Alamo in San Antonio, but there's no In-N-Out burger here. I think it's time to go. Let's leave. Three hours to Houston, boys. Three and a half hour drive. Stuck in traffic. Sleeping. Still grinding. 11 o'clock at night. Texas is completed. Only two days left to finish. We still have Colorado and Arizona. Let's go. We just landed in Arizona. When we get off this plane, we have to book it. There's 34 locations in Arizona, and we gotta drive over 1,000 miles to hit them all. You're going bald. We gotta go. We gotta go quick if we're gonna get these locations. I don't even know why we're running. Dave walks so slow anyways. He's killing our time. He doesn't even know where he's going. Look at him. I'm gonna have to shave my head because this man cannot run. Can you see that? Yeah, I got one speed, one speed only, full speed. We only have two days left to complete this challenge and I still have two full states to do. Arizona and Colorado. Can I get a double double please? Double double? Double double animal style. I need a hamburger. Killer. Next in and out burger, 15 minutes away. We gotta go. Got my burger, time to hit another in and out. Run Dave, come on, you gotta I'm go running. faster. Woo, let's go. Just made our millionth gas station stop and I got some Arizona tea. See what I did there? Arizona. I need to deliver that line better. That was pretty. How do I do it better? This In N Out Burger took us an hour and a half to get to. It's not looking good. I'm probably going to have to shave my head. Just left that In N Out Burger. We got to go to the next one quick. I'm not going to shave my head. Let's go. We're doing it. This is for Arizona. Oh. Gross. One state left, let's go. I don't have a lot of time. I do not want to shave my head. How long until the flight leaves? We have 17 minutes. We got to get there ASAP. Today's the last day to finish. We still have Colorado and we're still in Arizona. Oh look, a buffalo. We pretty much have six hours to do all of Colorado. If we complete this, this is going to be a miracle. Best part is we might miss our flight. We got to the airport and barely made the flight to Colorado. We just landed in Denver, and luckily there's only three locations in Colorado, but I do not have a lot of time to get this done. All right, here we are, in and out burger number one of three in Colorado. Could I get a double-double, please? I still have two more locations, and I'm waiting for them to cook my burger right now. All right, so we're all here, posted up at the last in and out Matt has about an hour to get here. If not, we're shaving his head. I'm gonna use this bad boy. I have an hour left and two in and out locations to go. There is the second one. Just got my burger, one more location to go, and it's 70 miles away. We gotta be quick. He only has 50 minutes left. Once that sun sets, it's all over. Let's just hope I don't run into any traffic because that will actually ruin everything. I cannot wait to shave his head. It's gonna be great. I've been driving for 20 days straight and I only have 30 minutes left or I'll have to shave my head bald. It's almost time. He's not here yet. We're gonna get that boy bald. We're gonna see what that head looks like. Oh my God. 20 more minutes, he has to get here. I still have to order a burger. Even if I get there in time, I have to order a burger and wait in line. And these people are just going so slow on my exit. 10 minutes, Matt's gonna be bald. I'm exiting off right now. I gotta run in there and get a burger. He's coming. All right, let's go. Let's go. You're not gonna make it. I gotta get a burger. Oh, there's a line. I'm not gonna make it. You know you got like five minutes, right? Look at that line. They still need to make your food and you need to eat it. Come on, come on, come on. How do you want your hair cut? I don't want my hair cut. Can I get one double double please? How long do you think it'll take? 10 minutes. 10 minutes? I've ordered the burger. Does that count since I ordered the burger or do I have to bite it? You have to eat it. Who came up with that rule? Me. Oh, nice. I have to do something like a power play. It says 10 minutes. You're not going to get your burger in time. 45 seconds left. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. You got to lose. They're still cooking my food. What am I going to do? You have like 10 seconds. 10 seconds? 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. I'll pay you for this, bro. Yo. No way. Burgers left. I went to every single In-N-Out burger in the entire world in only 20 days. If you don't believe me, there's a link in the description to an unlisted video showing proof that we went to every single location. New videos every Tuesday. Bye! <sighs> <coughs>